What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here with another Your Anthem video discussing one of my favorite topics of all time, the endgame. I don't know about you all, but I am a big fan of the endgame grinds. You know what I'm talking about. The vast majority of the reason why you keep playing the game after you beat the story slash campaign? However, what the endgame for various gaming companies and genres has changed a bit over the years and the formula shifts from time to time. In genres like MMOs, it's the grind to get your full Elder Gear set with those awesome perks and set bonuses. In games like Destiny, it is the grind to get to that maximum light level, completing challenges and collecting the rarest loot and exotics there are. In Warframe, it is continuously building Warframes and weapons to further rank up your mastery level and modding said Warframes and weapons to take on events and grind for even more Warframes and weapons. You guys get the picture. But how is the endgame traditionally achieved, and what has been the primary source of the fabled endgame grind? In the past, it has been raids and group content, like the games mentioned above, but Anthem is putting a unique spin on it, and it might not be innovative, but I find it to be refreshing. While Anthem might not have your average 6-8 player content, aka raids, at launch, you will have encounters known as strongholds. Your team of four will delve deep into these dungeons to, well, you know, kill everything in sight for that sweet, sweet loot. By taking on even harder strongholds, you get even greater rewards. Every stronghold comes with your standard big bads to defeat, mechanics, coordination, and so on. My only hope is Bioware doesn't pull a Destiny and make some, if not all, of these strongholds from reused assets from previous missions or locations. Fingers crossed Anthem lives up to its promise of unique and interesting encounters. This may sound like your bread and butter formula for an endgame, but Anthem does have a few tricks up its sleeves and a few left unheard of. Hopefully we'll be hearing more of those in the future. However, if you aren't the endgame hardcore up all night figuring out the best loadout slash tactics to beat these strongholds type of player? Have no fear, Bioware has you covered. It's not only the story that the devs want to make your own, but also how you play and gear up in the endgame. To quote an interview Game Informer had with John Warner, one of the things we've noted is that we want everyone to be able to participate in what we feel is the best and most challenging content that we have to offer, and we don't want there to be an arbitrary bar. Unless you're this good, you can't play this. I'm a huge fan of this method, and while Destiny 2 employs a similar system, I've never felt like a quote, badass because I have a piece of raid gear. More than likely, there are a few other weapons or pieces of gear that do the job of said raid gear, and then some. In the end, the only reason you complete these endgame raids is for the minor light level boost. In order to counter this issue, Anthem offers a simple solution. In the previously mentioned interview, John Warner later adds, we want to make sure we are rewarding players who are skilled and take on big challenges, and rewarding them appropriately so they can peacock and say, quote, Hey, look, I got this because I'm a badass, end quote. That's important. And from what I understand so far about the endgame, life will be much more rewarding if you co-op it. If you choose not to, hey, that's okay too. One way or another, you will get the gear you need for the endgame, or to make it feel like you've had the most rewarding experience. But for some of the truly special and top-of-the-line gear, looks like you're going to need to group up and start bunker-busting some strongholds. Before I end this video, I wanted to see what you all thought about me doing a new series on this channel. Since the first gameplay trailer released at E3 2017 for Anthem, there has been no shortage of statements like, Anthem is a clone of, insert generic shooter or looter shooter game here. As you all know, I am not opposed to debunking Anthem hate, so here is the proposal for the new series. I will make a video about every five days on the similarities and differences between Anthem and the game of your choice. As you all probably noticed, there is a card at the top right hand corner of your screen that will take you to a poll. The poll will have a variety of games, and the one with the most votes will be the one I will make a video on first, and then we will just go down the list from there. Anyways guys, that about does it for this video. What do you all want to see an Anthem for its endgame? Please be sure to let me know in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, as it helps me immeasurably. I hope all you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.